Hello and welcome back to Daniel Drives. I'm Daniel Actaus and today I am at Sywell Aerodrome for 2022's Supercar Fest. And obviously I was here last year and if you haven't checked out last year's video then you can check that out in the top right corner I believe. So in this video I'm just going to walk around what there is to offer because there are hundreds and hundreds of supercars, hypercars and all sorts. It's got to be like millions of pounds worth of cars. So let's have a look around. So similar situation to last year really, I have no idea where to start because there's just so many cars all around me, hundreds of supercars, Ferraris, Aston Martins, Bugattis, there is all sorts. So I think let's start off with what is in front of me, which is a Ferrari. So let me turn you around nice and smoothly I hope, 458. This has got to be one of the best supercars of the modern day era, it's just got to be hasn't it really, owned by Rich Reviews apparently. Um, but yeah, the 458 to me is just an absolutely beautiful design and there's another one there. There's plenty. They're all over the place, absolutely all over the place. Um, but if this isn't for you, the other side of the spectrum is this. This MG Rally car which seems to follow me all around the UK because I've seen it at last year's Supercar Fest and also Goodwood. And obviously today I'm wearing my Goodwood cap. Um, but yeah, this just follows me all around the UK, driven by Steve Harris and Nick Thornton. As, uh, as said by the stickers uh, but my word this is fantastic take a ordinary small mg and make it like this and jesus that is cool so i think what we're going to do is we're going to head in that direction where a lot of the cars are ready to go down sidewell aerodrome they do drag racing and top speed runs and everything so it's quite nice to see the cars absolutely racing by and you get to hear them idling as well because they're so loud especially the aventadors they just scream um, but this in front of me here has to be one of the highlights of the show. It's stunning. Hurricane, Hurricane Performante starting up there Absolutely in the amazing. purple colour. I've got a driver here. Can I no Italian stripe. Okay Minimalistic. Wow. That sounds nice. That's really nice. Just in front, Ferrari 488. Again, sort of like the modern version of the 458, which I just, you know, showed you earlier on. I really like this. There's just so many cars scattered about everywhere. It's absolute car mayhem. 992, 911, what else is there? There's just so much variety. So, so much variety. It's a Yaris, is that your taste? Audi RS3, Nissan GTR, and uh, regular viewers will know that bit of a Porsche addict. So this GT3 is definitely my cup of tea. Definitely. In this yellow colour. I love it. That's fantastic. And there over there we have an Enzo. And the new Ferrari with no windscreen. That's interesting. I forgot the name. But yeah. Very interesting. This Ram here is absolutely huge. Like it's, it's taller than me. The bonnet is nearly as tall as me. 6.2 litre, supercharged, 
it's massive. Like, you couldn't even reach in there. It's huge. A12 Superfast, I believe. Green R8. Another R8. I was saying to one of the R8 drivers this morning coming in, I've never seen so many R8s in my life. They are just everywhere. This is nice as well. Got another Performante in orange. Gorgeous colour. And this as well. This is my cup of tea. GT3 RS. Cars don't get much better than that. Yellow Aventador. Wow. This to me is just motoring perfection. I love it. This sort of light blue colour with the orange wheels for contrast. And I've got to show you because I had a look at this last night and I saw this and it really wowed me. The central electric exhaust pipes. Yes. And this is nice too. I like the stripe. And I really like the wheels as well. This, these Hurricane wheels, love them. Really like them. Holy moly, it's a Pagani Huayra. Casually driving by. <laughs> and an Audi R8 and a load of people running. Wow. These R8s are so loud. Obviously V10 engine, Lamborghini engine. And you can see me in the reflection. DTO race car going out. McLaren 570S based, I believe and another Hurricane here as well, and it's matte grey colour, nice. Here we've got one of the holy trinity of cars, Porsche 918 Spyder, obviously hybrid, I think just over a thousand horsepower, there's the interior shots. I just love the sort of like the mesh at the back, I know mesh is the wrong word, because I think I actually filmed one last year at Supercar Fest, and I think then I called it mesh. I think it, mesh just makes it sound like it's, uh, you know, a Yaris or something. No, this is not a Yaris, this is something else. I love it. There is a Laferroi we'll look at later on as well. But, as an event of all things, SF90, Ferrari. Obviously this is another hybrid. Another interior shot, charger cables down in the footwell. Nice. This is like our e -up, but scaled up 10. Another Performante, next to a standard Hurricane. Obviously this has got the Performante rear wing, and this does not. Um, and I can tell you a fact, might be bragging, I have been in a Performante, and it was phenomenal, around Edinburgh actually, uh, it's my 13th birthday, I had a tour around Lamborghini Edinburgh. And I've driven a normal Hurricane as well, on a runway in Stafford. So there we go, bit of a trivial fact. STO though, this is the ultimate of the ultimate, I think the last hurrah for the Hurricane, crazy. Beautiful 458. Just like 2021's events, Porsche are here. Yes, that is good news. I haven't got my Porsche cap this year, but I have got a Porsche t-shirt that I got from Stanford Hall, the VW show actually, which is a video you can also check out. So let's have a look around some Porsches. We kind of have to. It's gotta be one of the quietest cars of the show. Taycan, I've seen a few of these, um, and there's even a Cross Turismo lurking about, but that's next to a GT3 RS and this very lovely bluey green colour. Can't remember the actual name, I know Porsche give it a fancy name, but oh, rear wing gold, so is. Look at that. That's amazing. That's so amazing. Next to a GT4, which is also lovely. Here's a brand new 22 Reg 911 in shark blue, which is one of the best colours. I was just showing on the GT3. Um, so this is a Carrera 4 Cabriolet, shark blue, obviously. Um, it's done 100 miles, that's it. £155,000 at Porsche Centre Silverstone. So I'm going to have a sit down inside because I'm cheeky. So let's have a look, shall we? Nice door handles. Oh yes, oh yes, there we go. Here's the interior of the 992. Really nice, obviously back seats as well, so it's practical. I've got to get inside. Climbing aboard, try not to knock the camera. It's very low down, it's the first thing I get climbing into the cabin of the 4S. But it's just so nicely thought out. Obviously, you've still got the analog speed dial, or rev counter rather, you've got you know digital either side, and you can decide what goes in each little binnacle thing. Nice steering wheel, very logical. Flappy paddles, it's PDK. Nice big screen. It's got the chrono thing there. And obviously no roof, it's perfect. And I can see myself in one of these. Obviously, Porsche is my just favourite car in the world. I love it. I really, really love it. I think last year I sat inside a Taycan, um, but I'm not allowed to sit in one of them this year, so I'm sat in this. No complaints. And there's the back of it. It's just lovely. 
I love the 992 light bar. I know it's controversial when it first came out, but I love it, so, so nice. But there's an option, this has got the option where it kind of makes it more sedate, so it's sort of like see-through rear lenses, but you can get them with the red rear lens, and I do prefer them with the red. But this has got the clear one, which is fair enough, but shark blue's gotta be my favorite. And just like Porsche, Aston Martin are here, bringing an array of their car. So let's have a quick look. DBS Superleggera soft top. This is nice. I do love the DBS. It's like the perfect Grand Tourer. There's a GT3 RS casually driving by. But yeah, I really like this. This is this is nice. And four-seater as well, so you can you can justify it. And there's a DBX2. Obviously rival to the Cullinan and Bentayga and Eurus, etc. Not my cup of tea. But if that car keeps Aston Martin going to make cars like them, then that's fair enough. The new M240i is here at Supercar Fest as well. Also, we had a quick look around one of these at Goodwood when it was unveiled. And this was in purple as well. And this is purple, the one here. Might be the same one, actually. I'm not too sure. But I do like it. It's a grower. When I first saw it, I wasn't too sure. I'll show you the front. But now I've had a chance to see a few. I really like it. That is a nice looking car. And I like the way they've tried to make the design sort of like a mixture between the M2, the 1M, and the 2002 as well. It's lovely. This is the latest GT3 Cup car. Obviously 992 variant, 911. And uh, yeah, these are the ones you see on the telly going around the tracks. Very cool. It's gotta be a contender for the perfect two car garage. RSR Porsche, which is stunning and a GI Yaris, which has been quite modified. Nice red, GR70 WRC, but it's been wrapped in this sort of chameleon color. The interior has got a roll cage at the back, bucket seats, Cobra seats. Um, just very, very, very nicely done. But there we go. That's the Instagram, that flipping Yaris, followed him this morning. Um, but yeah, I love what he's done to it. It looks amazing. Um, he's just taken a nice car and made it even nicer, not in a silly way. I mean, just look at them exhausts. Wow. But that's just, that's phenomenal, isn't it? That rear wing, the wheels as well, dist wheels. That's just gorgeous. I love it. Absolutely love it. If you're like me and you don't like SUVs, you are like estate cars, and that is the ultimate estate. RS6 has been sort of pimped to the max, kind of. Um, carbon fibre everywhere. Really, really cool. I like this RS4 roof box, too low roof box that's been sort of wrapped in the same colour. Just look at the interior. That steering wheel over there. It's like full carbon fibre steering wheel. Oh my word. Red just like the outside. Just again, tastefully modified. That is a McLaren 600 LT. Well not any 600 LT, this is owned by a great guy called Aid. Now I know Aid because me and my good friend Matthew Loverhouse have reviewed a couple of his cars before, in fact a few. Um, Zenos, Abar, and his old 570S as well. This is amazing. <laughs> this is a bit of a launch we did in the E10S. Zenos claim it's around four seconds, 260, but it feels so much quicker because of all of the drama, no windscreen, helmet, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, I wouldn't complain. Um, he's done a fair few, safe to say, but he's brought along his new 600 LT, which looks amazing in this sort of gray color, sort of like a, I don't know how to describe it. Um, it's just gray with a lovely stripe as well. Um, and I wasn't too sure about the stripe, I must admit, but now I've seen it in person up close, I really like it, it's tasteful. And obviously butterfly doors as well, I like them and exhausts that exit over the spoiler. Something not seen on many cars, but I believe McLaren did it, something to do with aerodynamics or something. It's great, it's really cool. Now, I'm gonna take you away from a lot of the supercars you see at shows, and I'm gonna take you to Silverstone Auctions because Silverstone Auctions have brought along a lot of cars, a lot of classic cars, a lot of future classic cars, of all sorts of, you know, they're all different. They're all different, the variety is crazy and they're all going for auction. They've all got, you know, estimated prices and they've all got details on them. And I had a look last night when we first arrived and honestly, there's some staggering cars I need to show you. BMW Heaven E46 M3. Oh. Now, I wish I could afford this, but sadly I can't. This 
is guessed estimate value 30 to 35,000 pounds. There we go. And that's next to a clown shoe Z3M. These are cool. In fact, I'm not even going to go around the back. I'm going to get the side profile because I just think they look so bizarre. Almost like too short at the back, but I just think it makes it so unique. I love it. Next to this MP4-12C. Hard to believe these are 10 years old now. Um, they still look very nice today, actually. This is a 1962 Jaguar E-Type. 1962 being the year my dad was born, actually. But this is estimated to go at auction for nearly £400,000. That's quite a lot, isn't it? That's quite a lot. It's next to a RS500 Sierra Cosworth and then a Lotus Alam. And just there is a white or maybe cream BMW 2002. You just never see these, do you? They're amazing. Tommy Mackinnon Mitsubishi. These are fantastic. These are really, really cool. Estimate, take a guess, viewer, 80 to 100,000 pounds. Wow. Another rallying legend, Audi Quattro. Now, this isn't even road legal, this is just for rallying. And this is estimate 225 to 250,000 pounds. And this is a replica. Saw this yesterday and this really took my eye. This 993 in this sort of dark green color. It's lovely, isn't it? But this has got a soft top, it's quite ribbed. And uh, people didn't like that back in the day. But I don't know if I can show you the interior without just showing you the reflection of me. Um, but I just love it. I really, really like it. Wheels as well. Just everything about it. People weren't sure about the 993, but I think Porsches just get better with age. They really do. And a Porsche that everybody thinks about that gets better with age is the 996. This is a GT2, which is probably one of the highlights for me under this tent. Because the GT2 is amazing. It's basically a Turbo S, isn't it? With just rear-wheel drive. So no front drive. And I believe, you know, tuned engine. But I love the 996. Obviously fried egg headlights. Shall we see what the estimate for this is? 100 to 120,000 pounds. Ah, it's not bad for a GT2, I suppose. I wish I could afford it. Renault Sport history here. Clio V6. I think I might have saw this one last year. I'm not too sure. But honestly, these never get old. Obviously two-seater, mid-engined. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm sure, I actually posted a, a video on TikTok, believe it or not, about this car. And it got it blew up, it got like 60,000 views. And the, the comments are very varied. A lot of people saying, yes, they drive great. And then there were some people saying, yeah, but the quality's terrible. <laughs> but I mean, you can't argue with that, can you? It just looks amazing, so, so cool. And just next to it, an RS Megane. That's quite nice. It's probably one of my favorite Lotuses, the Esprit. Obviously, this is the 300 Sport. Um, estimate 60 to 75,000 pounds. There we go. A bit cheaper than the Porsche that I also like, but still a lot of money. But yeah, there's a load of cars here, and I wish I could look through them all, but I think I'd be here for hours. And I know a lot of you'd like to see it, but I certainly wouldn't like to edit it. So let's move on to something that's over there 992 GT3. One of my favourite cars. In fact, my dream car, probably. Uh, although I'd probably have a touring without the wing. Um, but that's fantastic. I remember at Supercar Fest last year, the GT3 had not long been sort of released, the embargo lifted, and I was really hoping I'd see one, and I didn't, but I eventually saw one at Goodwood, but yeah, it's nice to see one at an event like this. And it's rather unusual orange. These cars do look great, obviously with the sort of nose at the front, which has been revised and new front bumper design. It just looks so good, doesn't it? So good. And the swan neck rear wing, controversial but it looks really nice 458 speciale one of my favorite supercars of the modern day era next to a ferrari f40 ridges next to a ferrari daytona that is like a really cool ferrari three car garage and there's more here as well oh my god so nice just over there then if you can see an sf90 nice and an aventador as well sort of fitting in between the ferraris 458 leaving, that's nice. Just there is an R8, and that's owned by Mark from Yanomise. Um, and they were here last year as well, in, I believe the same car, and I think Nico, his brother, um, came in his GTR. 
Um, but I think he's, he's given that away, I think. I don't know. I don't know what's happened with it. But this is nice. GT2 RS. One of the dream cars for me. If I had all the money in the world, I'd have a GT2 RS because I just think they're amazing. I think just over 700 horsepower, I think, all through the rear wheels. That is amazing. And here's the second of the Holy Trinity, Ferrari La Ferrari. We've got to take a closer look at this. It's not often you get to see one of these up close. Just look how long the stem is for the wing mirror. Just something so small like that. It's just, it's crazy. A quick peek at the interior. Look at that. I'm get you right in there. That's outstanding, isn't it? That's amazing. I don't think I've ever seen one apart from this. I don't think I've seen any other LaFerrari. I've seen one P1 in my life and a few 918s, but I've never seen one of them. And there's an Aventador. Again, casually sitting there. I said this last year, an event like this, you actually get bored of seeing cars like this because they're everywhere. But you never see them out on the road. That's one thing. And here's electric classic cars in the electric converted Land Rover Defender. This thing's also really crazy. Really, really crazy. Just like the colour in this R8, it's like Hulk green. I like this a lot, it's cool. But again, absolute havoc in the middle here. Hurricane revving, performante. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's outstanding. I'm lost for words. Recognise this? This is a TikTok Micra Boris, owned by Jack McNeil. Very well known over on TikTok and YouTube now, actually. It's nice to see the car that us as TikTokers helped to create, kind of. The way he did it was people comment down modifications and the best liked comments, or the most liked comments, was the mods that got, got, got done to the car. And you can see the result of that. <laughs> Aerial Atom. There's just so much going on. And an Aventador SV driving by. It's hard to focus on one thing because you talk about this, for example, and then there's this. Racing Boxster, nice. And a Eurus. We now have the chance to have a proper close-up look at the electric Tesla converted Beetle, um, done by Electric Classic Cars over in Wales. Um, now this has been on telly a couple of times, I believe, because they have a TV show, Electric Classic Cars, um, and they convert classics. I think Vintage Voltage, I think it's called. Um, but also Guy Martin did a thing on this. They tried to get it to beat the record. Um, just look at the tires so wide and I think they did beat the record in the end I think two point something seconds not to 60 and quarter mile in almost no time at all um, but my word obviously all of the power through the rear wheels um, and I have got a video I'll put in a minute of it setting off at the drag strip just over there and the smoke it created was just unbelievable not from the engine because there is no engine but from the tyres so much torque through you know some Porsche rear wheels it's it's crazy it really really is but I like the front lights as well I do like them LED modern which is fitting because it's got modern technology inside so there we go and that's parked next to a bright red 458 Italian so there we go that is variety it is a GT2 RS one very familiar to me because I think this was here last year and I actually had a photo I'll put the photo on screen now um, but yeah, GT2 RS is the ultimate car for me, I think. You know, money no object. I love it. So, so unbelievably nice. And I love what Porsche do with the bonnet as well. Where it's got the red down the middle and the exposed carbon fibre on the sides. I'm trying to get past these now. My knowledge of Rolls-Royce isn't very good, but to my limited knowledge, I think this is a Phantom. Um, and it's absolutely enormous. Like, it's absolutely massive. Um, like I'm still walking to the back, there you go, I'm at the back of it now, and yeah, nice registration, but my word, it's huge. I can't believe it. It's the third of the Holy Trinity. This is the McLaren P1, the second one I've ever seen. The only other one was at Goodwood in 2021. But that was black. This is yellow. I've never seen a yellow one. It just looks amazing. It's got to be my favourite of the three being you know the 918 and LaFerrari this is probably my favourite but it's in good company as well because over here there is a Bugatti Veyron Vitesse which is amazing so massive in real life and there's an all carbon fibre McLaren set and there's a Porsche Carrera GT very rare and then there's a Chiron and then there's a McLaren Elva the one with that windscreen that I think I've shown before and then the Ferrari 
without a windscreen again. The Enzo, another Veyron. I think this is a Super Sport with the registration Bug 2 uh, or Bug 1 1. And I think this was here last year as well. And here is what everybody's talking about the new Bugatti Devo. I think this is nearly £10 million <laughs> worth of car and it's outstanding. And there's another Chiron there as well. That is a piece of kit. Ventador SVJ. I believe um, this is a one of 63 model or something. I think there's only 63 made worldwide, which is quite amazing. So it's amazing to see one here. I think that's a Ferrari F50. Um, and that's when Ferrari wanted to make sort of a F1 car for the road. Um, yeah, absolutely mental thing. Crazy, crazy engine. But over here, this is interesting because there's a new Ford GT and an old, in inverted commas, Ford GT. Not GT40, but a GT. And I think they're owned by the same people. Imagine owning them too. And another McLaren Senna. Just the other side of the carbon fiber one over there. So there we are then, Supercar Fest 2022 here at Cyworld Aerodrome. It's been a fantastic event. Today we've been lucky with the weather as well. And what a variety of cars. And obviously we saw all three of the Holy Trinity. So fantastic. So yeah, we've got to wait until next year now for Supercar Fest 2023 when hopefully I'll be driving myself and I'll come in the Panda, which is obviously a supercar in itself, isn't it? Yes. If you like these videos, then please remember to subscribe to Daniel Drives. Remember you can follow me on social media at DanielCars05 and I'll see you very soon with more car content. Thank <laughs> you.